Hello everyone and welcome to the video and today I'm going to be showing you guys my updated season 9 settings so they have changed a little bit since the last time I showed you guys uh, but before we get into the video I would like to ask you guys if you are not already subbed to drop a sub I think about 90% of you guys are not subbed so it would really really help me out a lot and I would really appreciate it but let's get right into the settings so I did change up my settings because my long range seemed to be struggling a little bit as opposed to my close range so I wanted to help that out a little bit and I can say that even though they're two small changes I do believe that they've helped my gameplay out a ton, especially when I'm fighting long range with 301s, flatlines, or any other long range weapon. I am able to hit a lot more shots and see people a lot more clearly. So obviously all of my gameplay uh, settings have not changed, so I'm just going to go through them. I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna list them off like I did in every other video because it just gets very repetitive. But you guys can look at them and see what I have on. So over in the controller tab is where all the changes happened. I still play on the same button layout because I like comfortability when it comes to my button and uh, you know just the layouts. But one thing that has changed is the menu cursor speed. I put it up a little bit. I think it was around here or maybe a little higher. But I, I told you guys in my previous video that I wanted to gradually make it higher just so I can get quicker armor swaps and loot boxes a little bit quicker. So that's what I've been doing. And I don't know if I'm ever going to max it out. But right here is pretty fast and I want to keep it that way for a little bit. Uh, but who knows maybe I'll get it higher eventually. But this is where the major changes have happened. I used to play on 4-4. I now play on 4-3 and all my per optic settings have changed as well. I put my 1, 2, 3, and 4x all on 3 as well. And then my 6, 8, and 10 are on 4. But I did this because I felt like my long range tracking and just overall recoil control was a little bit hard. Just because uh, it's 4 seemed a little bit too fast for me. I know 3 is incredibly slow and um, it might not work for everyone, but to me this, these settings are really, really comfortable. And I do believe that honestly these are probably one of the easiest settings to use in general. So if you haven't used these slow settings yet, I would give them a shot. They're really, really effective. Honestly, I've been dropping a lot more 4Ks as well and having a lot bigger games. So I do believe that these are much better settings than what I had. Um, so obviously this is all the same. I still play on the classic response curve and small look dead zones. I don't play on ALCs. but. This is another thing that changed. So basically, there was two major changes. I changed it from 4-3, or 4-4, sorry, to 4-3. And then also, I used to play on 110 field of view, but I changed it to 104 because I was tired of shooting at pixels long range. Uh, if you guys play on 110, you know what I mean. It's very, very difficult to shoot people uh, because, you know, long range, you can barely even see them since you're so zoomed out. So you do sacrifice a little, a little bit of peripheral vision, but I think it is overall worth it to have that little bit of zoom because it helps your long range accuracy and overall tracking in general. So that's pretty much it for the changes. Obviously, everything else is the same and, and doesn't really, really matter. But this is pretty much it for today's video. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.